What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Riverdale is an amazing show. We can all agree about that. But just like every other show, it has its things that just don't make sense. The show has everything, even teens hooking up with hot teachers. Remember Miss Grundy's relationship with Archie? Well, that was illegal. And thank God the Black Hood took care of her in season two. And the Blossom daughter setting her mansion on fire? Well, we all know she doesn't have a happy home, but come on, that was clearly overreacting. So guys, let's go through the 10 things in Riverdale that don't make sense. Warning, major Riverdale spoilers ahead. Number 10, sexual assault. Back in season two of Riverdale, we saw many things. Murders, drug deals, criminal secrets were revealed, and we came upon a dark past. But the one thing that got viewers' attention the most was Geraldine Grundy's sexual assault and potential rape of Archie Andrews. Everything was so confusing, the entire episode was about the necessity of consent and slut-shaming teen girls, and this is where most fans were left feeling unsatisfied. And according to them, the whole episode was so unsettling, mostly the teen boys' abuse. There's no doubt that Miss Grundy and Archie's season one relationship shows assault and possibly rape. The most common and lowest age of consent in the United States is 16, and despite Archie being exactly 16, Mrs. Grundy being much older means that her pursuing him was definitely not okay. What were the writers thinking? And in the original comics, Miss Grundy's character would never take this kind of interest in one of her students. Let's hope not to see these kinds of things in Riverdale again. Number 9. Making Black Characters Sidekicks We all love the Golden Four of Riverdale, but sometimes it feels like they are on only characters the show focuses on. Take the instance of Josie McCoy. Her character is definitely one that deserved more attention than she got, and this lack of attention just doesn't make sense. She certainly should have appeared more on the show. But she only has a few scenes where we can see her performing, interacting with her mother, and appearing as an irrelevant role on the show. Plus, she's the daughter of the mayor, and she actually plays a character that's supposed to represent diversity. Is this a huge mistake made by the directors? Morgan, who plays Tony Topaz on the CW drama, posted a tweet on that saying that she's tired of how black people are portrayed in media, tired of us being portrayed as thugs, dangerous or angry, scary people, tired of us being used as sidekicks, non-dimensional characters to our white leads, or only used in the ads for diversity, but not actually in the show. In case there was any doubt she was referring to Riverdale, Morgan added in a reply on Tuesday, Too bad I'm the only black series regular, but also paid the least. Girl, I could go on for days. TV Line has reached out to the CW for comment. Earlier, Morgan protected former co-star Ashley Murray, who played Josie, in a tweet, saying, Maybe the show should write for Josie like the white characters. You didn't do stuff to the body, did you? Like, after. It's called necrophilia. Reggie, can you spell it? Number eight, the musical episodes. Music is one thing Riverdale is great for. Well, not always. Many episodes include a musical performance and the official musical episode has somehow become a ritual for Riverdale. Season two started with Carrie, the musical. And in season three, the gang offered a performance of Heather's, the musical. And some fans thought it was enjoyable while others, not so much. Riverdale actually honored the classic 80s movies with Heather's The Musical episode, and according to some fans, the episode didn't make sense. It's not understanding how Cheryl, Archie, and friends star in them every year. And according to some fans, Riverdale has turned into not-so-enjoyable show since the infamous adaptations of iconic musicals. If you guys remember Betty runs the school paper and seemingly has no interest in performing, outside of these token episodes, one fan took to Twitter and said doing Hedwig was just such a mistake. This is worse than Heather's, and I didn't think that was possible. Another fan complained, The Honey is a homophobic storyline, was so cringy. He just didn't want to sexualize teenagers. It's called a dress code. I had a dress code too. I usually don't mind the musical storylines, but it was just Glee. If I wanted to watch Glee, I would have. Another fan added, Do you guys approve of these kinds of episodes in Riverdale? Number 7. No Burns you guys remember that at the end of season one, Penelope was badly burned in a house fire and she appeared at the beginning of season two covered in bandages? And just a few episodes later, Penelope's face was revealed and it had no scars and her eyebrows were whole. 
Some fans have stated that since Penelope's body and face were so badly burned in the house fire, it just doesn't make sense that she would have recovered so suddenly and so easily. And the only thing that says she was ever burned is the black glove she wore to hide the scars on one of her arms. The actress who plays Penelope Blossom, Natalie Bolt, also felt that her character healing so fast didn't make sense. In my view, I recovered a little quickly from the burns. I would have liked to be like the Hound on Game of Thrones, like if half my face really had just been left burned and melted," the actress told E! News in 2018. Number 6. The Phone Calls Riverdale is an expensive show, and the writers together with the directors spend so much time and effort on details since the show has achieved amazing success, and they don't want to disappoint their fans. But this detail they missed is so tedious, and many fans agree that they shouldn't let this kind of thing happen in such a great show. So here it is. Every time the Black Hood calls Betty, her phone plays the song Lollipop, but he calls from a blocked number and other blocked numbers don't have this ringtone. Maybe it's a great cinematic device, but it makes no sense. And now the main question, who set up the ringtone in the first place? If the Black Hood did it, he would have been caught, and oh, does the whole town have access to Betty's cell phone? No sense at all. Number 5. Veronica's Character When we were introduced to Veronica's character, we were also introduced with the idea that she used to be a lot meaner than she is now, but we never got a solid explanation, well, until the episode La Grande Illusion, where we saw Veronica explaining to Kevin how evil she used to be. However, in the conversation between her and Kevin, we learned that Veronica and her best friend, Katie, bullied a girl at their school so bad that the girl ended up switching schools. At some point, the change of her character is understandable since she lost all of her money and her father ended up in jail and she definitely felt guilt. But from a bully to mother, Teresa, who's helping out pretty much everyone. Now, don't get us wrong, we love her character, it's just the whole personality switch happened so fast that doesn't seem realistic and doesn't make any sense. Number 4. Hermione Lodge's Transformation When Riverdale brought Hermione Lodge on the screen, we were super happy with her charismatic, sweet, and gentle character. She definitely was the sweetest mother ever. She took parenting serious, and she was always calm in her relationship with Veronica. She had her regrets of the past, but that didn't stop her to become a better person, and she also took a job waitressing to make a living. But just like Veronica's character, the same case goes with Hermione. She practically switched halfway through season one. She became this parent who forgets her daughter's signature before the law, and she does everything to protect Hiram and their fortune. Fans couldn't comprehend how this character switched so fast, and maybe the writers could have explained the transformation of her character better. Number 3. Quite Normal In Riverdale, it seems quite normal to gather together in public with your friends and randomly talk about homicide and all kinds of other incriminating stuff. Remember the time when Betty and Alice Cooper and Jughead and F.P. Jones got at Pops and talked about how they hid the body of the guy Chick did away with? And whether they removed their fingerprints from the car? Like, how? Isn't there some other place? A house, maybe? Maybe a place where you could talk murder in private? This just gives it a point that the characters want to get caught, and it doesn't make any sense at all. Number 2. Finding out about Cheryl and Tony Now, how does Mrs. Blossom find out about Cheryl and Tony? Do you guys remember when Mrs. Blossom viciously sent Cheryl to a secret gay conversion camp shortly after we saw some romance rising between Cheryl and Tony? Now, we all understand that this happened under her roof and she had no idea about Cheryl showing signs before, but it was never confirmed that she listened to the short conversation they had and it doesn't make any sense how she reacted with such a tense response. It all happened so fast and since her response, we all get that she has been planning this since Claudie's showed up. Something's not quite right with the timing here. Number 1. Setting a Plan to Raise Giant Prison Oh, the sweet irony in this one. So we all remember Hiram Lodge's character spending most of the season one in prison for embezzlement. He gets out and the man is all about building a giant prison. How? How did he come up with a strategy to use the south side of Riverdale for turning it into a large for-profit prison? Since everyone knows that prison is not a very pleasant experience and once people get out, they try to forget about it and go on with their life, eventually with making better decisions. But no, our man here doesn't stop breaking laws and does suspicious business. The whole thing just doesn't make sense to us. Well guys, this is the end of our video. Did we miss anything of Riverdale that doesn't seem to make sense? Let us know in the comment section below. 
Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this. Thanks for watching.